Michael, did you, I don't remember, you must have done some. Did you do any cabarets at Yale? Yeah, I did uh, at least right. one, one a year. <laughs> I didn't do too many of them because I was doing a lot of shows, a yeah. lot of shows. So I, you know, um, so I, again, I, I, I went to see nearly all of them. Yeah, I think we most of us went to see most of them. Yeah, seemed to, yeah, I saw nearly all of them, but I, but I wasn't in that many. I'm like, no, I think one is enough. <laughs> one is one. Exactly. Well, then they would always, right, they would always start at the end of the night, right? Every, all, all the oh, other yeah, the very, night, yeah. Right? And you'd be like, oh, it's 11. Um, <laughs> it's time to go rehearse. Time to go rehearse until 2. I remember the first one I did, it was like that. Mm -hmm. where, uh, we would start at about 11.30, and we finished about 2 in right. the morning. And then Barbara's class, first thing, <laughs> at 9 a.m. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah, no, you couldn't do very many of those. That's absolutely no. right. Too many. Yeah. I mean, this whole, this whole cut exists because I was like, what do I want to do? I want to do Lear. Oh, the cabarets have to be, whatever, we're at 50 minutes, 55 minutes, whatever they were. Right, right. right. Exactly. Yeah. Now, when, what year did you do it? In your first this, year or your, uh, your second year? My second year, so this would have been your first year. Right. Right, when I did this one. Yeah. Yep. Um, I was trying to remember what year. Wait, was it my third year? Was it, uh, yeah. Yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah, you were busy. You were in a lot. They had you in a ton of things. Yeah. I mean, look, I loved it. It was fun. Uh, yeah. I didn't have time to think about what I was doing or what I wasn't doing. It was just, I think that during that three years, I had one two week period where I wasn't doing anything mm -hmm. and I lost my mind. I just, I remember I kept walking through. <laughs> the drama school main office i was just walking back and forth and I finally went in to earl and knocked on the screen. and i was like you got to put me in something i'm losing my mind and he uh, laughed he says i know <laughs> he thought it was the funniest thing because i couldn't stay out of the drama school i was like what do i do what do i do yeah. i'm not in a play I know you sort of you hang out in that front hallway too often you you stare at the mailboxes and then what do you yes do? exactly Exactly. Yeah. And everybody, you know, the whole thing, because everybody else was busy too. So it wasn't as though you had somebody to hang out with for two weeks. They were doing shows. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I remember as, you know, as we went into pandemic spring, I, I called you at one point about a thing for my, the class I was teaching. Right, 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 right. Um, yeah. And you called me back and I think I was like in the middle of a walk with my son and I was like, I will call you back. And then right. you didn't hear from me for two months. And when I called you back, I was like, hey, Michael, I have this crazy thing. Do you want to come do this? <laughs> and it was one of those like, huh? <laughs> I said, I thought I was just going to talk to your students about self-taping, but I guess with right. the pandemic, there's no more school, but Lear, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. jump in self-tapes to Lear. Exactly, oh, exactly. Okay. And the great thing is this, right? So for many actors, Lear is sort of one of those kind of like the kind of ultimate challenge. And I was like, what if you came and played Lear plus Gloucester? Plus Gloucester. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, that that uh, as I as I told you on the phone, I said, you know, you should do things that scare you, <laughs> and so, uh, you know, some parts of me physically were <laughs> rebelling against saying yes. I went, yes, let's give this a shot. <laughs> well, okay, and, I feel very lucky that that was your philosophy. See the see if it destroys me or not. <laughs> exactly, it hasn't yet. Not yet, <laughs> but, but you've given me, you know, a nice size <laughs> to kind of work with. You've hit all of the main plot points, but have given me just a little, you know, because there's so much more. This, this, this play is, is a beast, yeah. as you well know. It's a beast. It's your practice run. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm taking it as. It's, it's a your practice run. I'll come back and find you in another 20 years, and we'll. Yeah, uh, yeah. I will yeah. learn so much more by then. Like there yeah. we go. I get it now. I know what you were saying then. 
Yeah. Um, well, and I think we'll both be in this other place, right? Where, I mean, I think there's still the ways in which we are, we're both old enough to start to think about some of those issues about aging that come up in the play. Right. But also some of them still feel a little kind of like, I see that out on the horizon, but I'm not in the midst of them. Right. Right. Yeah. It is, it is. I mean, it's the thing on, in the interview yesterday, I think what I've discovered, you know, in doing this is just, oh my, oh my gosh, his fear. Yeah. This is this. He's terrified <laughs> uh, during a lot of this, mm -hmm. and 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 you know, you begin to kind of think about that. Because you know, I started thinking after my mom passed uh, six years ago. You begin suddenly start thinking about your mortality. Yeah. All of a sudden, you start thinking about that long, long march. I'm like, wow, that is going to happen. <laughs> so. Yeah. Right, because you go through, I mean, there's a chunk of your life where you, I mean, like if somebody said, will that happen to you? You know the intellect, you know intellectually the answer is yes, but at an emotional level, you're like, no. No, no, yeah. No. Like, and uh, then, it does, it's so far away. I can't even see that far in the future right. at this point. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this play is, this play is terrifying. <laughs> it is terrifying. Absolutely. Um, well, I'm so glad you said yes. I'm so glad that, that unlike Lear's fear, you decided to respond to your fear by diving in and embracing it. Well, because of you. <laughs> because of you. Someone, someone else, I would go, no, I just don't have time. I couldn't possibly. <laughs> so I'm very busy being trapped in my apartment in New York yeah. in a pandemic. I just couldn't possibly do that. But no, because, because of, you know, I've enjoyed working with you in the past. So it's sort of like, okay, I, I can, I, it, it, He'll be kind. <laughs> He'll be kind. No, it's a treat. And I, um, when I started thinking about this, you were honestly, for whatever reason, you can make of this what you will, you were the person I thought, Michael's who I want to ask. There are other people I can turn to if Michael can't do it. Wow. Well, but you. Michael is who I want to ask. Wow, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for saying yeah. yes. You, well, you're very welcome. You're very okay. welcome. Looking forward to it.